Hey everybody, Paul the Wild here with a new adventure of Seven Days to Die in the new Alpha 19 Beta 173. Uh, I was trying to use nitrogen maps, but unfortunately, for some reason, my computer doesn't like them. Don't know why. My computer just does not like the nitrogen maps. Uh, the generator works fine, but it won't load them. The frame rate on them is really, really bad for some reason. I don't know why. So I just made a Seven Days to Die random generated map. And we are going to get an adventure started here. Um, no specific rules that I've got set up on here. Um, I believe I'm set to Nomad on my difficulty. Uh, regular days, nights, 77 days horde. And we're going to see where we go from here. I want to see how long we can stay alive. Um, I'm going to do my usual rule. Any deaths that happen between day one and between in the first seven days doesn't count because you know there's always that occasion you're accidentally gonna run into a dire wolf or a bear especially starting in the, the this biome here because i did a live stream uh, a couple days ago on facebook and my first day i started in the snow biome guess what i ran into a cougar and a wolf at the same time so you can just guess what happened on that day bedroll made here Collecting stuff. Let's see if we can find some rocks and see, I'm having nowhere near Scrap that. the frame issues I would be having on a nitrogen map. I don't know why. I mean, everyone swears by nitrogen, but you now it's my bad. I'm, I'm guessing it's my bad luck when it comes to stuff like that. It's like everyone says, oh, it's so awesome. And then I get it to use it. I try to use it and it don't work. It worked fine the very first map I made. And then after that, it just would not work again. So I wasn't even going to try to play that very first map I made anymore. I just deleted it all. I already searched that. All right. Uh, what do we need now? We need another stone. Gotta find another stone. Easier to find one laying around than sit here and punch a rock. Come here, Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone. Stone! Now, I decided not playing on a nitrogen map because nitrogen map has the Shang Tower and um, the Hayatachi uh, laboratories and all that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's just, I wish I could use it. Okay, stone. Any stones out here on the road? Oh, is that a stone? Is that a stone? That looks like a stone to me. Yay, stone. Stone axe. Craft. Put that down the old tool belt. Make some clothes. Craft. 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 Where are the pants? So we'll get us some wood here. Get that stone club going. Get that stone club down in jaw. Where are my boots and my hat? Cut me down a couple trees, break me down a couple rocks, and we will be back. Hi, everybody. Yeah, so you got to watch me do a whole bunch of stuff and not hear a damn thing. Primarily because I had muted my mic and I forgot to unmute it. So, just wasted a whole bunch of day of silent talking. Uh, I might just edit. I might edit. <laughs> you, you'll know when the, when the video posts. I either edited it all out with some highlights. Or I'll vo record me a voice chat. But what I'm doing right now is I am going to mark this on the map. There's a lot of iron here. Save. Cave. Okay. I R O 
and yeah so yeah there's that that happened that happened as usual it's like i'll mute it when i'm doing something so I'll, i'm so when i'm talking to myself it's something yeah it's, it's, it's just gonna keep my mic unmuted and just edit out stuff i don't want y'all to hear <laughs> because yeah Hello, Mr. Zombie. What's up, Mo? Actually, on no, my world, you're Otis. Everyone else calls you Mo. I call you Otis. Good night, Otis. Chicken, that funky chicken. All right, looks like we're here at our house that we need to raid. Let me clear this bad boy out. Did it in? Did it in? Has a very Adams family look to it. Let's walk around here. Looks like we go inside from the back. Chicon. Chicon. Oh, the chicken jumped over the fence. Oh, that's painful. It jumped over the fence the second I shot at him. Oh, oh you bastard chicken. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever done this house before. Right, well, it's late in the day, so we're just going to go on in. I'm not going to do a double loop. And I am just going to tell you this right now. If I ever decide to do a double loot, I am not going to let you have you watch me loot the same house twice. Ugh. Jumped. Jim. I will do the actual quest loot. And if I get any extra loot from if I do loot, if I do a double loot, I'll just tell you what I got. Because I'm sorry. I just think that's boring. There's a couple, <clears throat> there's a couple players out there that do that. They'll, they'll record the whole deal. And it's just like, it's boring watching, I'm sorry, for me, it's bo for me. I mean, I can't speak for everybody else. For me, it's boring watching someone loot the same house twice. Oh, shit. Well, that happened. Ah, oh, shit, I should have got that. <laughs> At least I didn't break myself. Or when it comes to the whole damn house with zombies. Let's see, got that. I can make a pistol now. Yay. Uh, craft AP ammo. 44 Magnum. Mm-hmm. Take 5% less damage and deal 10% more damage when indoors. Sweet! Guess where we are? Indoors! So can I pull myself back up there? I never did make a bunch of frames like we usually do. Craft. Nope, because the beds... There we go. No, you know what's gonna happen? That the shape of those holes is gonna get in my way. There. There. I'll take some iron legs, yes. This does look like a mighty fine home to call, mighty fine home, mighty fine house to call home. All right. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna clear the zombies out first, and then we're gonna come back around and loot. That's where we're gonna make this place home. Anybody home? Yep. stuff right there. Stuff dreams are made of. Uh, we're just going to strap those. Only 12. Maybe we'll sell them. I mean, 12 dukes is 12 dukes. Cloth. Uh, herbal antibiotics. 
that's a flashlight. That's good. That's not bad for beginning. Get an arrow back. Like that one broke. Can't go that way, but I do want that cobblestone. Where's my brand new shovel? Break it up on the DL. Notice something. It's like <clears throat> if you ever have a problem with your sneaky sneak, keep an eye on your stealth meter there. If you see it getting up above 30, slow down. Do a little bit at a time. I know it can be a little eh, but if you're playing stealth, if you like to play stealthy like I do, watch that little stealth meter there. It's locked. You start going up above higher, that's when zombies wake up. See, now watch. I'll take these boots off. Let's swap boots. What's keeping me up at 30? Maybe because I'm underneath that? Yep. All right. It's all right. So we're learning something here because I'm underneath these. I was underneath that uh, candle. Okay. We're learning. We're learning because I was lit up. Keeps your stuff low. So we all was learning something new. Damn it. Guess I just got a little too close. Back up! Oh, look, his girlfriend's here, too. Yep. As I was saying about stealth. <laughs> I just got too close to him. That's all it was. I know if I tried to shoot around that corner, my arrow was going to hit the corner of that doorway and it just wouldn't work okay another re reason why i started recording again is because i've set up two monitors i finally got set up two monitors on my computer and now i can actually watch my recording what i'm recording as i'm recording it that way i know i'm providing a good recording and not providing a choppy nasty messed up cording and getting surprised, trying to edit it later, and then having to start all over again. That's one of the things that kept frustrating. Ooh, hello. That's one of the things that kept frustrating me about um, recording, was that I couldn't see what I was doing. And now I can see what I'm doing. You know, you know recording behind screen, behind my game screen. There's a zombie over there somewhere. Recording behind my game screen and not knowing that I'm making a good recording or not. Oh, hello. There he is. Floppy flop. Anything else in here? I don't see anything yet, but it still hasn't reset to go to the trader, so. Let's grab that. Uh, with them chairs. Chairs, chairs, chairs. I know you're in here, chairs. Chairs. Scrap that. I'm not gonna scrap the short iron pipes yet because we're gonna use we can use those to make a forge. Right, so we're going upstairs. I'm not checking behind. I don't think I've been checking behind. We'll check behind them later. And earlier they are. I say we're not gonna loot yet. We're just gonna clear the place out first, and we're forced to have it looting. <laughs> so yes, I know. Anyone who's may have commented already, you said you were going to loot first. Well, I lied. I don't think there's anybody hiding in there. Get my arrow back. Nice little bed here. Just bust it up. Just slip on in here. Locked. Let's 
let's just reinforce these doors just in case, because they're both unlocked, so there's definitely zombies behind them. Hiding anything? Ooh, blunderbuss. Yo. So I'm moving in. You're moving out. Close. Real cowboy hat. Yay. So I just get rid of that because it's just strapping to flat fibers. First with some bandies. Shirt. Yes. All right. We are clothed. We just we are clothed. We have got some real clothes now. Sweet. We're just gonna barge on it. Hello! Anybody home? What's up? Nobody. Uh, ooh, work. Thank you, water. Make some more bandies out of this. Right, somebody outside wants to come party. Cloth. Why? All right, you know what? To hell with you and your weird assholes. I mean, I understand trying to make it look pretty and stuff, but sometimes it don't work. I just want to reinforce that a bit. Stone is locked anyway. In there. I don't know if I'm able to get back in there, but so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna bust into here. Book it. I don't want that backpack and that cobblestone. Dig it up. Got someone beating their door down there. We're just gonna close that door. Use the iron we got. Just double reinforce it. That way he's blocked down there for now. Double reinforce that one. That way he has a trial to get up here. All right, and loot is this way. I am sure there's going to be guarded by zombies. There's one right there. Is that a zombie or is that a dead? Just a dead body. That's I think it's just a dead body. Schmutz, dead body. On the schmutz. Now I can make a bone knife. There's got to be more than this, because it still says I have zombies to kill. Oh! Oh, shit! Of course. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You suck, game! You suck! <laughs> Oh, I am so hurt. Oh, what do all I got? Oh. Should have put my blunderbuss down in my belt. I should have. I should have. I thought about doing it, but I was like, no, this is a tier one. I'm not going to run into a dog. That was bad. That was very bad. Let's just get that down there. I didn't loot that blunderbuss, right? Yeah. Let's just get that down there now. Oh, that scared the bitch Jesus out of me. 
didn't even growl. It just attacked. I thought we was done for on day one because of a dog. But we made it out like a champ. I tell you, a dog, a dog back here bar guarding this on a tier one quest. There better be some good stuff back here. Blood. Useless. Sawed off shotgun mod. I don't have a shotgun yet. Oh, leather straps, armor. Oh, look at that. Look how lucky we're getting. We got a headlight mod already. Got a helmet to put it on. So where are those? Take the rest. He's still down there being on something. Alright. I'll take one of them. Just grab the rest. Yeah, free storage. Okay. It's reinforced. Yeah, I'll get rid of that glass. Uh, me. Helmet. Modify. Light. Ah, no! Get my light right back! Eh. Me. Helmet. Modify. Light mod. Complete. Thank you. Oh, it's because of my concussion. Now, what do I got? I've got a deep laceration and a concussion. Deep lacerations can only be properly treated with first aid kits or sewing kits, but a simple bandage will stop the bleeding. All right, so that helps the deep laceration. All right, concussion. You have suffered a concussion and all attributes are lowered by one. Use painkillers to cure this, and I have not found any painkillers yet. Okay. All right, let's drop some storage. Because those two over there are not going to be enough. You know that. <laughs> Let's get it started right away. One, two, three. I have no plant barbers on me. I got a little bit of plant barbers on me. Let me go take care of him because it's about to get dark. I don't even think I have one run. I think I have one jog, but he's out here tearing my house up. This is going to be my house. What the? Don't fall down the stairs and break your leg. There he is. What's up, dude? You making all that noise? Right, let's go find out where he came in from. Came in from Shaw. Should have just put a door there. Now I gotta get out and around and take care of her. Should have unloaded first. Oh well. Woulda, coulda, shouldas. Oh, well, that was a nice big circle I just made. There's gotta be a door to outside around here somewhere. Even if it's locked. Got a couple of want to get in my house here. Oh, she just totally does that. Come on, jump. Oh. Where is 
the other one? Another one beating all my shits. You're beating all my shits. Hey, chick magnet, yo. Chick magnet. All right. Well, what we're going to do is we are going to end the episode here. Since it's nighttime, we're just going to do some cleaning up around here, a little bit of organizing of inventories, and then in the morning, we're going to head on over to the trader and turn this quest in. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to keep seeing what you like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And the little bell next to it. That way you know every time I post a new video. Uh, this is Paul Wild Gaming. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can see me there. And if not, you'll see me on the next video. Thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day.